number one on page 64. So I will assign two, three, and five, and we'll do number one together. A robot drops a camera. Oh, you know what? Let's not do number one. Sorry. Uh, I'll assign. Tell you what. Here's a deal for you. I'll assign two, three, and four, and we're going to do two together. Ooh, you get a freebie. So, a flower pot falls from a windowsill 25.0 meters above the sidewalk. That's pretty far up, folks. How fast is the flower pot moving when it strikes the ground? This gets to Justin's question. Are we talking about final velocity when it hits? No, we're talking about it that second before. So, looking at your four kinematics equations. Let's, first of all, let's list all of our variables. This is also where I'm going to tell you to start drawing pictures. This is where the art starts to get really, really important. Um, you don't have to be an artist, but you have to be able to represent the facts on the ground. So, we have a ledge. We have a flower pot. There's my flower. And this is 25.0 meters. Okay. So let's start listing variables. Um, what will delta y be? And notice that we've moved to delta y. We're no longer dealing with delta x for change in position. Why not? Because we're on the y-axis now. Um, I always have students go, can't we just use delta x? No. Here's why. Next chapter we'll have delta x and delta y displacement in one problem. It's okay, don't, 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 don't weep yet. Um, no, we're not doing any delta Z. If you want to do delta Z, you're on your own. Because um, I'm not doing delta Z problems. Um, so, you want to get used to using the appropriate variable so that, so yeah, you'll probably do it next year when you get to college physics. No, you won't do it in your first year of college physics. So what is our delta Y? Be careful here. 25.0 meters. No. Negative. Negative 25.0 meters. Because this is traveling down. Oh, Come on, Joe. It's like, if it was going up, would it be positive? Yes, if we were throwing it from the ground, it would be 25 okay. meters positive. Okay, so displacement is delta Y is negative 25 meters. Um, we have, okay, so we could have vi, we could have vf, we have acceleration, we could have time, we could have all of these things. Right now, we want to know final velocity, yes? Yeah, we want to know that its velocity at the moment before it strikes the sidewalk. Do we know vi? Yes. Yes, what is it? Zero. Zero, starting from rest. Do we know acceleration? Yes. Yes, and it is? Negative 9.81 meters per second squared. Oh, jeez. Thanks. Okay. Do we have an equation that ties these four things together? Well, put your note cards. Oh, this is going to be a challenge to you. Number two, what is it? VF equals So you got to connect all four of those. Which one, Olivia? VF squared. Yep. VF squared equals VI squared plus 2A delta Y. In this case, we're dealing with delta Y, not delta X. We don't even have to rearrange. All we have to do is take a square root. That's easy. We like that. So our, our entire rearrangement will consist of this. Fantastic. We like it. Okay. Now, VI was zero. We like that, too. So VF equals the square root of zero squared plus the quantity 2 times negative 9.81 meters per second squared times negative 25.0 meters. 
Now this is this is some place where if you had screwed up your negative, if you had put your displacement in as 25, what would happen? You would suddenly be taking the square root of a negative number. And so that's always a clue. If you get to a point where, wait a minute, I've got a negative number under a radical, then you know you screwed up your signs someplace and you have to go back and fix them. 2 times negative 9.81 times negative 25, <laughs> second function square root of the above. What do we get for final velocity? <laughs> Who's got a number? Who's got a number? Okay, 22 what? 2359. What are my units? Meters per second. And let's check that those, those work out um, dimensional analysis wise. We had meters per second squared times meters gives us meters squared over second squared. We took a square root. Perfect. We're good. So how many sig figs can we have? Three. So final velocity is 22.1 meters per second squared. So if you were laying on the sidewalk with your head level with the sidewalk and the flower pot struck you, yes sir? Just meters per second. Yeah, oh geez, square. yeah, thank you. I told you, keep an eye on me, I keep screwing up. Um, if you were laying on the sidewalk with your head at the sidewalk level, that's the velocity with which the flower pot would strike you. That's pretty fast. That's going to hurt. Okay, now that's part A. Let's look at part B. How much time does a passerby on the sidewalk below have to move out of the way before the flower pot hits the ground? So, let's get rid of all of this. And now, we're looking at those four. So VI, delta Y, A, and delta T. Do you have an equation that connects those four things? Mr. Hall, I think I think there was one that you wanted to use earlier. Now we can use it. No. No. Oh no, 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 we can't. We can't. Because you delta Y equals VI delta T equals one half acceleration delta T. Yep. Which is the worst one. It's not. Delta Y so equals the worst one. one half, or er, VI delta T plus one half A delta T squared. Okay. Well, we know that the VI is going to do what? It's going to cancel out. It's zero. So delta Y equals, that goes away because VI equals zero. One half A delta T squared. We're solving for delta T. So we have 2 delta y equals a delta t squared, 2 delta y over a square root of equals delta t. It's not too bad. Okay. So. 2 times negative 25.0 meters over negative 9.81 meters per second squared. Will this work out dimensionally? Yes. Because we're going to end up in what? Those meters will cancel out. We've got seconds squared. We're taking a square root. Perfect. We end up in seconds, and that's what we want. Okay, how many seconds do you have? What's our delta T? You got a number, ma'am? What you got? Okay, so our raw was 2.257618205 seconds. And you have correctly determined you have three sig figs. 
So you have 2.26 seconds to get out of the way. Now, what's the assumption in this problem that, and this is the answer your book gives. What's the assumption that's actually a problem if we think about this in the real world? You have less than that. Less you have less than that, unless, unless you're zero meters tall. At the beginning, I was like, yes. this guy lives with his head at exactly the same level. Right, exactly, yeah. If, if you're, and most of you are on order of magnitude about two meters tall, like I'm 1.6 meters tall. So, you know, you got a little bit less time than that. Yeah. You still, you, you got somewhere on the order of two seconds. Just move. Questions? Are these fairly easy? Okay. So I'm going to have you start working on the other ones that are assigned in the book. I'll go pick up the worksheets from the copier, and then you can start working on these. Make sure that before you leave here, you do number three. Make sure you do number three.